until most of you have come back and I would like to start the lesson. Uh, just a reminder, uh, just right after the lesson, we will have a MC quiz. So let's have a practice of having uh, 36, 36 MC strength. Uh, do you, me, I'll, I'll just put on the mic such that you can see it, uh, you, uh, you can hear it clearly. How's it? Now, today, I would like to have a uh, start of uh, revision on the chemistry, uh, chemistry curriculum in terms of fractals. Last night, we just finished uh, accidental outline. So uh, I would like to speed up such that uh, once we come back, uh, we would have a uh, remaining time it is for the lab section or of the short, short lessons, I will have some other things to do else with all of you. Okay. So uh, to start with, uh, take a look on the syllabus. Take a look on the syllabus. Just wait for me. I would like to find out the syllabus for you as well. Oh, where is it? How come I can't find it? Is it this? No. Let me check. There. Is it this one? Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Now, you may see this, right? A continuation of uh, taking, a look, uh, taking a look at the syllabus. So we come to Ragdoss, okay? Fossil fuel and uh, organic, uh, okay, uh, OCHEM 1, I will try to do it later for you. Now this one, Ragdoss. So Ragdoss plays a very important uh, part in your DSC, do you know why? Because for the long questions and MCs, again, one level up. MC and long quad. So, so for MC, they will give, cost you four to five MCs. Long quad, they will have one to two questions, long questions. It will be one, point, one to one point five level up. So it is something, uh, a very important topic. And uh, it is within the part of uh, with combined science as well. So don't worry, once you know that it, it, it comes together with combined science, it is a very, uh, those questions will be asked uh, in authentic manner, very typical. So don't worry too much. Altogether, we have got three main parts. Three main parts. Uh, first of all, uh, you are going to make, uh, under in principle, is to make full use of the chemi chemical energy in order to uh, perform some other uh, functions. For example, in chemical cell, you are going to change from chemical energy to electrical energy. While for electrolysis, it is another concept. Okay, it's another concept in which I would like to bring about the electric, uh, bring about chemical reactions uh, by supplying electricity. Okay, so these two, uh, they are the uh, it mixes the core of the uh, core parts of the rectus. So that's why we have got that two, right? That two, they are uh, important applications while we will talk about rectus reactions. 
Okay, so uh, so what is that? You are going to have a flow of electrons. You need to do a flow of electrons, a lose of the gain of electrons while you are having redox reaction. Okay, so uh, and inside that you may know something about oxidation number, transfer of electrons, gaining or losing of hydrogen, oxygen, etc. Right. So all those they are just way for you to define the right those reactions. Okay, and now also you are going to compare the feasibility uh, to to predict the feasibility of a reaction by uh, comparing different position of the species in the ECS. And. Uh, What's next is about the application of ragdoll reactions in our daily life in terms of industrial applications and daily life applications. Okay, so that's why here comes um, hydrogen fuel cell, right? This is something uh, that has been taught for uh, decades, I must tell. So this is what uh, you should know about ragdoll reactions. And remember, Chemical cells and electrolysis, they are two very important applications. And this is our, fo uh, is our focus uh, in this topic. Okay, you got it? So you may turn to uh, these, and uh, I would like to stress with you on the, the first part. Don't worry, don't worry about understanding all those different uh, primary cells and secondary cells respectively. Okay, don't worry, uh, you need not uh, uh, read those uh, too detailed. Wait. In case, in case here comes a very, um, a examination on Wait. this, what they just focus on is the concept Wait. of Ragnos reaction. Uh, by maybe, for example, asking you to write down the half equation. Uh, Hello. So don't worry. Uh, this one, if you, don't, if you don't have enough time, you may, uh, you may skip it. But for B part reactions in chemical cells, um, ragdolls, and uh, all those they have different designs that you may find it. Yeah, got, we may have got different designs, such like uh, the two metal electro and an electrolyte. That one you may see in lemon cell. And this one metal metal iron half equation with a sawbridge of porous device. Okay, it is another type, it's a very common type, or maybe Daniel cell, it, it, it belongs to this category. Now, uh, you are going to get to know the flow of electrons in the external circuit, uh, the changes of your uh, electron. Here, you're referring to observation as well as the half equation uh, from each electron. Uh, so that's why you are going to ask to write the half equation of reactions. Rectos. Rectos, we are going to uh, uh, for this part. Okay. And uh, for Rectos, you need to know uh, the definition of Rectos in terms of the frame. Loss of gain of hydrogen, loss of gain of oxygen, loss of gain of electrons, change in oxidation number. And uh, you are going to uh, compare the reducing power of metals and also oxidizing power of metal ions. Can you see that? It is something very, very basic. But once you get to know this idea, this concept, I will not just comparing the oxidizing of metal ions. He said, I can also compare the oxidizing of other species. Similarly, uh, as reducing power. So uh, reducing power, oxidizing power, I find that it is, uh, most, it is the most challenging part to all of you. Uh, What is mean by the okay? You see that reducing power, oxidizing power to FKM species, and I'll write down half equation no, uh, no, no. to write to balance the Redox equation or the changes in oxidation number. That too, you need to know. Common no, no. oxidizing agent no, no. that you need to know is acidified permanganate, acidified dichromate, iron three chlorine. Uh, this one, what is that? It is dilute. 
or concentrated nitric acid, okay, or and uh, corn salt. For reducing agent, uh, we usually referring to sulfite, iodide, iron two, and uh, some metal of quite high reactivity. Okay, this is what you need to know. And uh, for the a uh, detailed reactor reaction, the chemical cell are uh, just stress once again. Sink carbon cell, the chemistry of our sink carbon cell is out of the system, starting from two o two one. But don't worry, but but don't think that uh, you need to study uh, on this part on the cell. But don't, uh, but the what uh, the way to appear is uh, this sink carbon cell. The chemistry will also be assessed, but uh, by uh, with providing more information to you, such that you can answer the questions. Yeah, yeah, man. For example, they would uh, give you they would give you some hints, such that you can write down half equation. Uh, they will give you some hints such that you can tell uh, uh, you can explain something you know, just like what, how come the same carbon cell uh, have a limited shelf life for example now all those can be explained in terms of chemistry hello you know how come they uh, uh, you know that the same carbon cell they will have their own shelf life Ranging 1.5 to 2 years. Hey. You know why? But not 10 years, 20 years. Uh, which means once you buy the same common cell today, for example, uh, you cannot you cannot wait until your grandson uh, is here and just give them and a gift and ask them to use it. Uh, as, uh, to, <laughs> Uh, to turn on the electrical advice, as you know it. Do you know it? Do you know why? Do you understand? It's always like that. You can't. You cannot hear it clearly. Come on, like, my question is: the same common cell uh, would have their limited shelf life reason. Also, maybe you just ask them to move the mic. Maybe I I do it for you. Uh, they just turn on them. They, they just turn on the device on there uh, without really attentive to what is that. My question is, uh, why would have a uh, chemical cell a limited shelf life, same carbon cell? All this mean by attacked. Can you elaborate more? Yeah, zinc will be oxidized in ammonium chloride. Why is it ammonium chloride? Zhang you, Haoying, you, you, you didn't uh, watch the video uh, previously. Maybe you don't know the reason, right? You just write down your own. What you wrote? Not your own sink. You don't know?
Now, this is the question, or we have just uh, talked about this phenomenon for long. Ammonium chloride is the electrolyte. Our certain reason type choice B, I'm glad I. Hmm. It's not A, it's B. I've said before, ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride, it is not neutral. Ammonium chloride is acidic. So that is the reason, right? That is the reason. So they will softly, softly, uh, slowly dissolve, sink to form zinc ions. Now this is uh, one of the way that, that uh, uh, the question can be asked about the chemical set. And also you may uh, deal with some chemical cells with two half cells and inner electro. Inner electro refers to carbon or platinum electro. Fuel cell. Fuel cell is not just alkaline fuel cell. It can be acidic using acidic electrolyte fuel cell. So you are going to observe very, very clearly uh, the, the setup in the fuel cell such that you can answer the questions very uh, uh, carefully. Okay, this is what uh, you need to know about rectors in chemical cell. Last but not least is about electrolysis. Electrolysis, uh, you need to know uh, the Now you need to know the electrolysis as a decomposition of substances by electricity. Okay, so we have also many examples. No matter what, what those examples that they are, what you need to do is to think of what happened in the end, what happened in the cathode. You are going to write a half equation. Preferential discharge of ions will have got that three vectors. The first one, the position of species in ECS. The second one is that concentration of ions, especially halide. And three, that is the nature of electron. Whenever you talk about preferential discharge, you need to consider the three factors all together. Remember, you have to consider the three factors all together. So that's why uh, once you see the MC questions, you need to read those uh, information about three factors very carefully. And last, uh, lastly is on the application of electrolysis and in electroplating. So for uh, the metal refinery, the refinery of copper, for example, uh, it is off the surface. But uh, for the electroplating, it is the uh, core part of Electrolysis. So this is what I would like to share with you about this one today. Questions? Now, if not, I would like to check uh, if we can handle some of the assertion recent type questions, just like last time. Let me see, what, which one would you like first? Ragdoss reaction, chemical cell, or electrolysis? Which one would you like to have a try first? Rectals or something basic stuff. Yes, of course you can. Maybe we we'll start with uh, chapter twenty. Let me see. Chapter twenty. Twenty twenty twenty. Take a look. Here we go. This twenty 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 twenty. Hmm? Wow, a very long 
also soon reason to buy MC for the uh, for today's talk. A very long one. Very, very long. Let me check. Uh, you may, I will show you this one. Very long part. So I cannot do too much, right, today, because I need to uh, handle the meeting uh, after 2.05. So I will just do part of that. I, uh, can you see it? Don't tell me that. The Michael's uh, the work it's not functioning well. Uh -huh -huh -huh. How come? Okay. Maybe the it's a matter of storage, huh? I, uh, I need to open it. Uh, I need to open that again. I, I opened a document, so there may be some problem on this time. Yes. Can you see it? Can you see it here? So we have got from uh, question 17 to 58. So you may find that it, it will be quite difficult to digest them all. So uh, it depends on the time, and we will do up to the first page only, okay? From 17 to 30, for example, okay? Can you, 17 to 30. Uh, try to have somebody to remind me uh, to stop at about 30. So altogether, we have got 14 students here, right? Yes, it's exactly up to 30. We have got 14. First one, John Gawain. When copper, can you see that? When copper is put into dilute sulfur acid, hydrogen gas is given up. When copper is blue, on salt, hydrogen gas is given up. How wrong they are they? How wrong? What's wrong with them? Well, you just underline dilute. Yeah? You underline dilute, so what's wrong? Yeah, no reaction. Now, this part is D, no reaction between, is because of copper. It is too unreactive. Or if somebody uh, who don't want to measure about copper, you may talk about uh, sulfur acid, right? Sulfur acid, it is non-oxidizing. So it's not hydrogen gas, so what is that? Now corn is something different, right? It's different from dilute. Corn salt, it is oxidizing. So they would react with copper to form what? Yes. Thanks, Marcus. The gas is this SO2. <laughs> How come you just tell some other some other chemicals? Are you you just you just highlight hydrogen, but you answer copper two sulfate? Ah, so funny. Eighteen. Remember that two is different. That one's a good. 
cross oxidizing agent and reducing agent what uh, they happening is that they are uh, these two they should be in reverse right quite the opposite oxidizing agent itself re, uh, undergoes reduction okay remember oxidizing agent means you make the other species undergo oxidation okay and this one must occur at the same time yes that's right the answer is c next one hey 19. in a redox reaction an oxidizing agent must lose elect oxygen while the reduction reducing agent must gain oxygen a process in which a chemical species loses oxygen is called oxidation. While the process in which a chemical species gain oxygen is called reduction. It's the bovaron. Bovaron. First of all, oxygen. Right? Some for some species that may be uh, containing no oxygen, but we can still relate it as oxidation or reduction. Okay, don't confuse with the word oxidation because ox, maybe many of you would relate to oxygen. Right? For example, if you want to talk about zinc to form zinc ions and two electrons, or maybe the reverse reaction, it is also a type of half equation oxidation or reduction but there will be no oxygen gain or lose so the first statement is not is not always the case cross and you see that must is not always the case the second one a process in which the chemical species loses oxygen is not ox oxidation how wrong is it it's not loses oxygen right it's not gain oxygen can you see that now the if you want to step back to the definition, even, even though you talk about oxygen, right? As a species, you talk about gain or lose. These two words should be exchanged, right? So you gain oxygen, you got oxidation. You lose oxygen, it's, it's called reduction. But since I've just told you that uh, there is not always the case to have oxygen, inside the chemical reaction so there are quite a lot of other definition we talk about reactors such like oxygen gain or loss hydrogen gain or loss electrons gain or loss and also oxidation number increase or decrease okay so you may have uh, so many different ways to define uh, whether or not it is a rectus. So, so do you still remember that? Right, this part, if you still remember that, uh, could you please put a check in your chat box? You know it? You check it? Tell me now. Oh, you still remember? Good. Good. How about Zhang Gawain? You, you, you just go back to this. You just go back to the balance tape. Hi, how are you? <laughs> like one side. Now, how about 20? How about 20? Who is next guy? According to the list, there should be one, two, three. That here comes Sam Conway. After you talk to Mayu Lama, you have to go back here. Question 20. The carbon in methanol carries a charge of two minus the oxidation number of carbon if methanol is minus two. Can you see the difference between the two? So what is your answer? What do you think would be the answer? Can you see the word charge? Oxidation number. Are they talking about the same concept? 
Not really. Okay, so charge, oxidation and valve, they are, uh, they are of two concepts. So in case you really talk it as uh, meaning as a charge, which means that element that is referring to is an anion halide. Okay, it's anion, it's ionic. However, while you see uh, methanol, methanol is a molecule. Okay, methanol is a molecule. So having a structure like this, So we are now referring to this oxygen here. And uh, this one carbon, right? Carbon, it, we have got a charge of minus two. Sorry, no. It's neutral, it's not neutral charge. So the first answer is not correct, it's wrong. Okay, all are neutral. All atoms, all other atoms and all are neutral. Can you see the word? Okay, and second oxidation number. It tells you the imaginary charge the concept for oxidation number is imaginary charge to tell you the state of oxidation or the state of reduction have you calculated as minus two if you use the concept of right cross yes this is minus two okay you put a tick here cross and tick is c Anyone who still cannot manage to calculate the oxidation number of carbon being minus two, let me know now. Please put up a hand if you don't know. All of you know it? All of you know how to calculate the oxidation number of carbon? Mm -hmm. No response? The way to to way to way to solve is very similar, right? OH you treat it as minus two, uh, minus one altogether. Remaining this, it is plus one, and uh, you are going to make it separately. You know carbon, it is minus two. That hydrogen is plus one, and you know it. Twenty-one. Chen When dilute nitric acid, so underline the term dilute nitric acid, reacts with uh, copper, it reduces the hydrogen ions to hydrogen gas, dilute nitric acid, which is a reducing agent. Chen Ziyin, are you here? Chen Ziyin. B, you mean uh, both segments are correct? How about Chen Long Wong? What do you think? Now, oh, I highlight with you that two uh, the, uh, the chemicals. Right? It is dilute nitric acid, reducing agent. Chen Wang, are you here? You think it's B? Both statements are correct. Mm -hmm. Produce NO gas. Yeah, first statement is not correct. It's not correct because uh, in there is a reaction, right? These two will have a reaction. It will produce NO, not hydrogen. So the first means is wrong. Second, if I treat it like this way, what is the role of dilute nitric acid? The best way is to take a look of copper. But what will happen to copper? Copper will oxidize to form copper two and two electrons. So that substance is able to make the other species undergoing oxidation, which means this one, it is not reducing. We call that oxidizing, okay? Oxidizing agent. 
So it is not copper two oxide, sorry. It is copper two nitrate. So this time you need to focus on what? You are going to find out copper to form copper two ions. An increase in oxidation number for copper. Can you see that? From zero to plus two. Do you still remember that concept? From zero to plus two, increase in oxidation number. It is oxidation. Do you remember? So the answer is cross cross, it is D. Got it? Now it's time to uh, refer to the uh, this chapter to get to know more about this concept. How about 22? 22. Who is next guy is Chan Kang Hei. Sodium is a strong reducing agent. Sodium loses electrons easily to form sodium ion. Both are correct. It's A, right? Cause and effect logic, right? It can be explained. 23. Choi Zhongshan. It's B. Yes. Both are correct, but they cannot explain. Okay. Why is it corrosive? Because it is, well, it is full of hydrogen ion, right? The hydrogen ion that will attack the skin. And also, somebody we may think it as uh, oxidizing. Yes, you may. And also, it's a dehydrating agent, not drying agent. So if you have a consul uh, spewing onto your uh, skin, there are so many chemical reactions there. It's not just attacked by hydrogen ion only, but also dehydrating to char your skin. Wow. So excited, right? Sorry. It seems like horror fate to me. I can imagine what happened. Uh, very nasty. I don't want to map. I, I, I don't want to think of what will happen. Now, so it's 23. It's B. 24. It's not just hydrogen ion, but also it's dehydrating. Do you try they, your skin? Mm, nasty. Maybe Lam Gachai will feel excited. Huh? How about the next question, 24? Chen Gao Wen. 24. Uh, I invite Fatim Ha. When console is added to solid sodium chloride. Chlorine is formed. Console oxidized solid sodium chloride to form chlorine. Cross and take, correct? So what's wrong with the first statement? If you think the second statement is correct. Exactly, this one is not correct. It is HCl gas. So if you take a look on this one, of course this statement also not correct. It is D. Okay, it is HCl gas. 25. Who's next guy? Chan Ho Hei. When consult is added to sodium chloride, sulfur, sulfuric dioxide, so uh, I, I don't know what's that. Very strange, I don't know what's that. You mean sulfur dioxide? Even though I write that sulfur dioxide is not correct. Okay, it's a rectos. Corn salt and solid sodium chloride is a rectos.
oxid is it a red ox? Now I produce HCl gas is the red ox. Now it seems like it's changed of ions, right? So HCl, you, you have to relate to the oxidation number of chlorine. Minus one, minus one, no change. Okay, no change in oxidation number. It's not just of chlorine, but also some other. So it is cross, it is what? It's also a cross, it is D. 26. Hold on. It's not red, yes. Correct, not red dots, because there are, there are no changes in oxidation number for all elements. Yes, but, for, but not for bromide, but not for iodine. They will be further oxidized. How about 26? 26. Hold on, are you here? Hold on. Hi, go up, um. second time, go up, um. go up, um. over, go up, um. over, hello, are you here, go up, um. yeah, tell me, 26, something difficult, I must tell, this question is rather difficult, so what, what is the answer? So that is exactly what is so difficult for question um, 24, 24, 25, 26. They are equally very, very difficult. How about 26? Would it form sulfur? No, it's not sulfur. But some other sulfur containing substance will be formed, it's not sulfur. It is what? Yes, H2S, the bad X smell product. So console is a strong oxidizing agent to take, cross and take, C. Four more questions to go. Yes, bromine is also formed. 27. Marcus, your turn. When copper becomes copper to ions, uh, reduction occurs. Wow, too easy. Twenty-seven, Marcus. What do you think? When copper becomes copper to ions, reduction occurs. During the process mentioned, the oxidation number of copper increases. Yeah, increases from what to what? Zero to plus two, yes, that's right. From zero from plus two. And then what is that? Is correct? Marcus, you will write down this one, the, cho the multiple choice questions for your own questions, for your own two statement is B. Right? You just gave me an irrelevant statement to your explanation. It's cross and tech is C. It's not correct, it's this oxidation. So remember, the, the reduction occur here means for the first statement, for the first clause. But not tell me reduction of 
the other species of birds. So stick back to the to this statement only, but don't don't think too much. Twenty-eight. Hong Ga Ho. C. Cross and take. How wrong is this? It's not oxidizing agent. It is a reducing agent because sodium itself will undergo oxidation by having this one, by losing the electrons. So it is not an oxidizing agent. Is that? It is a reducing agent. Two more questions to go. Wang Zheng Ho. Sing is a stronger reducing agent than iron. Sing loses the electrons more already. Yes, that's right. It's A. And you need to rank it according to the ECS. Sing is more reducing. The last question 30. Go back to the first guy, Zheng Gaoling. Your turn. When zinc granules are added to copper to sulfate solution, zinc as a reducing agent, zinc donates electrons to copper to ions. John Garvin, you here? So, what will be the choice? A, B, C, or D? For question 30. Thinking. Alexander, do you know that, uh, don't you know that today we have got a quiz, MC quiz, of 36 MCs, cross topic, all topics, all 12 topics. The format is, is very similar to paper one. So if you want to tell me that you just think, 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 while well, you have, you have to think. 30, 36 times. About each question so will spend you for two minutes, for example, not too long, uh, which means that for one MC quiz, how long will you take? 36 times two, that is 72 minutes, more than one hour. Yet, we have got medium level and high level together. I expect you to finish the two. So how long would it take? Sorry, it's not two minutes for, for higher level. It's not a simple multiplication times two. For easy questions, you think you have to think to you, you have to spend two minutes for each question. How about more difficult questions? Let's be nice and take it four minutes, okay? what do you think? The blue, the blue mark is yours, right? It's A. Take a look. A. Now, sink act as a reducing agent. This statement is correct, okay? So reducing agent is correct. Sink will lose its electrons to cover two, right? So this is correct, it's A. And you got it finally. Congratulations. Or is it just a matter of luck? Try to prove it in your MC quiz. Yes, we have got 36 MC for one level. So uh, shall we have a uh, very short recap of today's part, which is you need to know uh, the following. First of all, definition of fractals, right? Two, what does it mean by OA, RA, right? And three, you may see some um, exit of different concentrations. They would have different what? They will have different property. Okay, for example, nitric exit. Uh, if it is very dilute, dilute and concentrated is different. They will have different properties. So for exit is dilute and corn is different. Okay. Wow, somebody has drawn a very nice picture. Who drawn it? 
very nice, right? All right. So Zhang Gao Wen, can you ma uh, can you manage to to do the MC quiz today? Zhang Gao Wen, don't run away and pretend not listening to my voice. Now please finish those first those thirty six MC today. Yes. Don't you know that once I call upon somebody, man, then uh, you know what I want to do. Don't worry. If you cannot listen, you may see. Okay. Uh, camp 1, I always invite Lei Tong. I came to, I will always invite Alexander. So tonight I will invite some other people, right, to do it. Uh, it's time to do it. Somebody have said too much? It's time to say goodbye. Okay, get prepared. Bye-bye.